Welcome to my series, How to Learn English. Video number one is practical advice about how to become an excellent learner of English. It doesn't matter what level you are starting from. If you're a beginner, an intermediate student or an advanced student of English, practical advice to help you become an excellent learner. What's the most important thing when you're learning a language? The answer is motivation. Motivation is the catalyst which drives your learning. Without motivation, you won't want to study. You won't want to learn. Be motivated. How do you become motivated to learn English? Well, maybe it's from an external source, such as your job, an exam you need to study. Perhaps you need to communicate with a person or a group of people in English. There are many ways to find motivation. Probably the most important thing when you're trying to find motivation is choosing topics that are interesting for you. Topics that you're going to read about, listen to. They must be interesting to you and your personal interests and your life. Also, think about receptive and productive skills. Receptive English skills are passive English skills. Listening and reading. Productive skills are active skills. Writing and speaking. It's important when learning English that you distinguish between your receptive skills and your productive skills. What do you want to focus on? Maybe you want to focus on everything, all of your productive skills and all of your receptive skills. Maybe writing isn't important and speaking and listening are the most important. You must decide what's important and focus your efforts on those. Collaboration and communication. I believe that when learning a language, collaborative learning and communicative learning are extremely important. Find someone that you can talk to in English. This may be a teacher. This may be a friend who is also learning English, or it may be someone that you know who speaks English well. It's very important to learn through communication and through collaboration. Collaboration means learning in a pair, so with another person, or in a small group, and completing tasks together speaking together, trying to negotiate different meanings together. Grammar is also very important. How to be accurate in English. If you're older than a teenager, it's more difficult to acquire English. Acquisition is something subconscious that happens in our brains. But when we get older, acquisition becomes more difficult. So in order to become accurate in what we say or what we write, we need to think about and focus on form, on grammar, on how language is created accurately. So learning through communication and collaboration is important, but also grammar is important. The study of grammar, the study of everything connected to being accurate in English. Practice makes perfect. 
This is very true. The more you practice, the better you will become. Practice, practice and more practice. Repetition as well is very important. Repeating language, repeating something when you're speaking to try to remember it or repeating a grammatical form on paper is very important. So remember, practice makes perfect. Repeat, repeat and repeat. Little and often. Learning English a little bit at a time, dedicating five or ten minutes every day to learning English is very important. Setting yourself a realistic goal every single day and little by little your 10 or 15 or 20 minutes every day will build up into many many minutes and many many hours every week. Finally, don't give up. Learning English or any language is a journey. It takes a long time. It takes many, many years. Don't give up. Make it your mission, your ambition. And don't cut corners. Don't think that you can learn English very, very quickly in a few weeks. It won't happen. You need to dedicate time and you need to stay motivated and understand that learning English, like any language, is a journey. It's a fun journey. It's an engaging and motivating journey, but it's a journey and it takes time. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope that today my speech has motivated you and helped you to continue or start learning English. My next video English lesson on YouTube is a series how to speak English and lesson number one is how to greet someone and how to ask someone how they are and how to answer. So this video is coming very soon. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe to my channel I'm Richard from The Grammar Goat. See you soon. Thanks very much. Please visit our website, thegrammargoat.com or email us, hello at thegrammargoat.com.